Sketch patterns are often used in SOLIDWORKS to avoid the tedious task of repeatedly sketching multiple groups of identical entities, which can introduce significant inefficiency to the design process. Despite the time-saving nature of sketch patterns, however, older versions of SOLIDWORKS often required extra constraints to be added after patterning to achieve full sketch definition, sometimes leading to confusion. That all changes this year, though, further improving the usefulness and simplicity of these tools. So let's take a look at sketch pattern enhancements in SOLIDWORKS 2025. In previous versions of SOLIDWORKS, creating sketch patterns would often result in underdefined sketch entities even when the source sketch being patterned was fully defined. In linear sketch patterns, this would typically happen when direction references other than the default x and y axes were used, and the option to fix the x-axis direction was not manually enabled. This would leave an extra unconstrained degree of freedom in the resulting sketch pattern, which would need to be addressed to achieve full definition. Beginning in SOLIDWORKS 2025, the option to fix the x-axis direction is on by default, and additionally, if it happens to have been disabled, it will automatically be toggled back on as soon as direction references other than the default x and y axes are selected. So long as the original sketch entities are fully defined, and the x and y spacing dimensions are set, this will result in a fully defined sketch pattern without requiring any extra steps. In circular sketch patterns, a sketch point is created at the location selected in the first field to act as the center of the pattern once the command is confirmed, but previous versions would not apply any type of constraint to this point, regardless of the options selected. This caused the center point, and therefore all the pattern sketch entities, to remain underdefined even if all constraint options were selected. In SOLIDWORKS 2025 and beyond, a hidden coincident relation is automatically created for this pattern center point, tying it to the reference selected in the first field. So long as the source sketch and the reference point are fully defined, the spacing between the pattern instances is properly set and the radius of the pattern is defined either in the source sketch or the pattern property manager, this will result in a fully defined sketch pattern, saving you the hassle of applying any extra constraints. While these strategies can certainly save you some time and effort, keep in mind that they're intended for use with source sketches that are already fully defined. If you instead choose to pattern underdefined sketch entities using these same workflows, the resulting patterns will be underdefined, and you will not be able to manually adjust the position of the resulting patterned entities. So what do you think? Will you be using sketch patterns more frequently now with these new improvements? If you found this video useful, do us a big favor and give it a like to help other SOLIDWORKS users find it too. And if you'd like to learn more about what's new in SOLIDWORKS this year, including enhancements for parts, assemblies, drawings, and more, consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with our latest releases, or visit our full What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2025 series, available now at solidprofessor.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.